What's wrong? The crane has quit. The crane crane has quit. What do you mean, Daisy? Look, look, sister, read. Oh, okay, okay. Let's see what it says. Hmm. The day the crayons quit. Oh, by Drew Daywalt. Oh my goodness. And the pictures are by Oliver Jeffers. Yeah, I know, I know, but you are just What? Okay, calm down, calm down. We'll just have to find out why the crayons quit. Huh, Daisy? Yeah, Daisy loves drawing with lots of colors. I know you love drawing with lots of colors. Hmm. Oh, look, look. In the back, the black crayons like boo. And the pink crayons like down with this sort of thing. And the yellow ones like we're not happy. Oh my goodness. Hmm. We'll just have to find out what happens and make sure the crayons don't quit, huh, Daisy? Yes, let's do that. Daisy, ready to read. Let's go, let's go. Okay, Daisy. Okay, everybody, let's start reading. So let's start reading The Day the Crayons Quit by Drew Daywalt. Hmm, let's see what this is about. Oh, look, Daisy, so many different crayons. Over here, a crayon box over here. Right, let's start reading. One day in class, Duncan went to take out his crayons and found a stack of letters with his name on them. To Duncan, I wonder what these letters are. I wonder who they are from. Ooh. Pretty red color picture. Yes, very pretty. Hey, Duncan, it's me, Red Crayon. We need to talk. You make me work harder than any of your other crayons. All year long, I wear myself out coloring fire engines, apples, strawberries, and everything else that's red. I even work on holidays. I have to color all the Santas at Christmas and all the hearts on Valentine's Day. I need a rest. Your overworked friend, Red Crayon. Oh, here's the fire engine and Santa Claus, some apples and strawberries and hearts on Valentine's Day. Poor Red Crayon, huh, Daisy? Yeah, but Daisy likes red color. I know, you love all the colors, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, this time it's a purple crayon over here. Dear Duncan, all right. Listen, I love that I'm your favorite crayon for grapes, dragons, and wizards' hats. But it makes me crazy that so much of my gorgeous color goes outside the lines. If you don't start coloring inside the lines soon, I'm going to completely lose it. Your very neat friend, Purple Crayon. Ah! Thank you for coloring these cool stuff, but Duncan is not staying within the lines, and that's driving a purple very crazy. Oh! I love this picture, though. Very nice. A picture of a wizard trying to eat a grape, and a dragon that burnt grape. Dear Duncan, I'm tired of being called light brown or dark tan because I am neither. I am beige and I am proud. I'm also tired of being second place to Mr. Brown Crayon. It's not fair that brown gets all the bears, ponies and puppies while the only things I get are turkey dinners, if I'm lucky, and wheat. And let's be honest. When was the last time you saw a kid excited about coloring wheat? Your beige friend, Beige Crayon. Aw, poor beige. Oh, what is this? Oh, this one's quite small, huh? Hmm. Duncan, gray crayon here. You're killing me. 
I know you love elephants. And I know that elephants are gray. But that's a lot of space to color in all by myself. And don't even get me started on your rhinos, hippos, and humpback whales. You know how tired I am after handling one of those things. Such big animals. Whoa, look at that daisy, so huge. Wow, big animals, bigger than daisy, yes. Baby penguins are gray, you know. So are very tiny rocks, pebbles. How about one of those once in a while to give me a break? Oh, I'm so tired. You're very tired, friend. Gray crayon. <laughs> Oh, poor gray crayon. Oh, what is this? I think it's a white crayon. Oh, this must be the white crayon. We can barely see this. Dear Duncan, you color with me, but why? Most of the time, I'm the same color as the page you are using me on. White. If I didn't have a black outline, you wouldn't even know I was there. I'm not even in the rainbow. I'm only used to color snow or to fill an empty space between other things. And it leaves me feeling, well, empty. We need to talk. You're an empty friend. White crayon. White cat in the snow by Duncan. <laughs> oh, poor white crayon. All the papers are white, so we can't see the white crayon. Hmm. Hi, Duncan. I hate being used to draw the outlines of things. Things that are colored in by other colors, all of which I think they're brighter than me. It's not fair when you use me to draw a nice beach ball and then fill in the colors of the ball with all the other crayons. How about a black beach ball sometime? Is that too much to ask? Your friend, black crayon. Ooh, a black beach ball. A black rainbow. What do you think, Daisy? Uh, no. Uh, Daisy likes colorful things. Sorry, black crayon. Oh, sorry, black crayon. Oh, <gasps> green this time. Beautiful pictures, huh? Yeah. Dear Duncan, as green crayon, I'm writing for two reasons. One is to say that I like my workloads of crocodiles, trees, dinosaurs, and frogs. I have no problems and wish to congratulate you on a very successful coloring things green career so far. The second reason I write is for my friends, yellow crayon and orange crayon, who are no longer speaking to each other. Both crayons feel they should be the color of the sun. Please settle this soon because they're driving the rest of us crazy. Your happy friend, green crayon. Uh -oh. <laughs> There's a dinosaur here, a frog, I think, a tree, some crocodiles, a recycling can. But the green crayon is worried about orange and yellow. Let's see what happens. Oop, here we go. Dear Duncan, yellow crayon here. I need you to tell orange crayon that I am the color of the sun. I would tell him, but we are no longer speaking. And I can prove I'm the color of the sun, too. Last Tuesday, you used me to color in the sun in your Happy Farm coloring book. In case you've forgotten, it's on page 7. You can't miss me. I'm shining down brilliantly on a field of yellow corn. Your pal and the true color of the sun, yellow crayon. Over here, page 7, Happy Farm. And the orange crayon's going like, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Ooh. So they're fighting. Let's see what Orange has to say. Dear Duncan, I see Yellow Crayon already talked to you, the big whiner. Anyway, could you please tell Mr. Tattletail that he is not the color of the sun? I would, but we're no longer speaking. We both know I am clearly the color of the sun because on Thursday, use me to color the sun on both the monkey island and the meet the zookeeper pages in your day at the zoo coloring book Ooh. aren't you glad i'm here ha your paw and the real color of the sun orange crayon 
Make the zookeeper. Orange sun over here. Orange sun over here. Monkey Island. Ooh. I hope they get settled on their um, differences. <laughs> but this time it's the blue crayon, I think. Okay, let's see. Dear Duncan, it has been great being your favorite color this past year. And the year before. And the year before that. I have really enjoyed all those oceans, lakes, rivers, raindrops, rain clouds, and clear skies. But the bad news is that I am so short and stubby. I can't even see over the railing in the crayon box anymore. I need a break. Your very stubby friend, Blue Crayon. <gasps> Poor Blue. <laughs> oh, he's so small and stubby now. Huh? Oh, pink now. Duncan, okay, listen here, kid. You have not used me once in the past year. It's because you think I'm a girl's color, isn't it? Speaking of which, Please tell your little sister I said thank you for using me to color in our pretty princess coloring book. I think she did a fabulous job of staying inside the lines. <laughs> now, back to us. Could you please use me sometime to color the occasional pink dinosaur or monster at or cowboy? Goodness knows they could use a splash of color. Your unused friend. Pink crayon. Ugh. This is by the sister. The pink crayon wants to be a dinosaur or a monster. Um, hey Duncan, it's me, Peach Crayon. Why did you peel off my paper wrapping? Now I'm naked and too embarrassed to leave the crayon box. I don't even have any underwear. How would you like to go to school naked? I need some clothes. Help! Your naked friend, Peach Crayon. <gasps> Poor Crayon. <laughs> Poor Peach. Poor Peach. Let's see. Well, poor Duncan just wanted to color. And of course, he wanted his crayons to be happy. And that gave him an idea. Huh, I wonder what Duncan will do, huh, Daisy? Oh. So many complaints except the green. Yes, so many complaints except the green. Oh, look at that! How beautiful! When Duncan showed his teacher his new picture, she gave him a good work sticker for coloring. Wow! Let's look at the picture, Daisy. An orange whale, blue crocodile, wizard with a blue clothes and green hat. Oh! An orange sun, but the sky is yellow. Wow. Uh, the beige color is the window, I think. And I think Duncan still used a bit of blue. Hmm. And a pink dinosaur, a Santa Claus wearing pink, a purple dragon, a black rainbow. Wow. Oh, beautiful. I love this picture. And the gold star for creativity. Woohoo! Well done, Duncan. Well done. Good job for settling all those complaints. Wow. The end. Wow, what a book, Daisy. What a book. Yeah, Daisy, I love this book. Yeah, Daisy, gonna go color now. Yes, are you going to go in color stuff? Yeah. Okay then, uh, thank you guys for reading with us. Please leave a thumbs up. And also subscribe if you want to see more. Bye bye Daisy. Bye.